Macarapas were sculpted from miners' hard hats by rival soccer supporters to display their loyalty to their club and celebrate their passion for the beautiful game. Today, Macarapa is worn throughout the country by enthusiastic soccer fans and it's a unique South African icon. Michael Soter is the founder of the Makoya Macarapa project. Maka Rubber is township lingo meaning safety hat. Alfred Magistrate Beloy, a self-taught artist, is the brains behind the Maka Rubber culture. The unemployed father of four lives, eats and breathes Kaza Chiefs. After he was retrenched from his job at the Pretoria Municipality, Beloy's love for his team inspired him to start a business selling the decorative helmets that soccer fans soon called the Maka Rubber. Michael Soto was intrigued by these pieces of art and started the Makoya Makaraba project four years ago. Um, it was started in the early 1980s. Um, uh, um, Magistrate Buruloi has actually um, been accredited with actually making the first one. Because um, he, he noticed guys coming to the stadiums, to the, to the games, who were starting to wear um, miners' helmets for protection. Because towards the end of the 70s, there were a few incidents of bottles being thrown, so I think it was became a protection thing. And he was the first to start painting them up with 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 Kaiser Chiefs on them. Um, and then him and Son of Marker then developed the product and it became part of the marketing of Kaiser Chiefs in the early 80s, and it's still there today. Um, and they're still pretty dominant characters out there. The Bukoy Macarabic project it started um, back in 2004. Um, being an artist, I was um, looking for a subject matter to, to paint at the time. Um, and, and I went to a local football match between Orlando Pirates and Ajax Cape Town. And, and I was totally struck by the fans and the, the atmosphere in there, the Vuvuzelas, and particularly with the Macarabas. Um, so I started doing paintings of those because I thought those would be fantastic for the corporates who are involved with football. Uh, they would look fantastic on their, on their corporate walls and things. But then I started actually looking at the Macarapas themselves and I thought these in fact are actually are the works of art. So and I thought oh, I'd really like to try my hand at these myself and, and that's how that kind of started. Um, and I learned from a few guys locally here in the townships and then I, and then I, I brought it home and I, I think I've slowly sort of perfected the product further from that. Michael says they can make between 20 to 50 makarabas a day. Each hat is handcrafted, making every makaraba unique. Yeah, uh, what, what we start off with is, is with, a, with a standard um, jockey builder's helmet, which is made of uh, polypropylene plastic. Um, we, then, um, we, we then give that a light sand, because one, one of the problems with a lot of the makarabas is that the paint scratches off very easily, so you need to prepare the, the, sur the surface on that. So we, we, we give it a light sanding and then we and then we mark our design onto it, um, and then and then we and then we cut it out using uh, a heated saw, and then we, and then we'll trim the edges, put a primer on it, um, which helps bond the the paints on, onto the plastic, and then yeah, then it develops from that. Yeah, it gets painted and, and it's how it, how it becomes a macarapa in the end. Well, they vary in price. Um, it depends on the complexity of the cut, the amount of colours, but uh, we kind of start ours from. A, about 220 rand, and I can when I can get as much as sort of to about 600, we even sell some for about 800 rand. Depends on how many things are added to it, colours. Yeah, so they, yeah, they, they're very intricate to make. One hat can take up to six hours to make. The makarabe is far more than just a safety helmet. It's a piece of art. Uh, we'll be hoping that demand starts picking up now, so we so, so we got time to actually to to actually do the numbers because um, you know, the numbers are going to be quite big but I think at the end of the day there will be a more of a collector's item. I don't think we can push them out like, like, like people can do with merchandise. So they'll be in fairly smallish numbers in, t in terms of the amount of people coming to South Africa. But um, ho hopefully we'll have enough there that will make an impact. Um, we've had quite a lot of interest actually from, from Angola. I've had, I've, I've had quite a bit of interest from, from, uh, from Cameroon and also from Nigeria. Um, 
the, the other helmets which do look fantastic are, are like from um, uh, it's, 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 it's from all your West African countries and they have those fantastic colours, your, your reds and greens and reds working together. Um, so, so we have done some really nice ones for, for, for Cameroon and Ivory Coast and countries like that as well. Um, so we, yeah, we're hoping that, that it will expand in there. One size fits all, from the adoring soccer fans to the ever popular FIFA president.